Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to animate elements at variable rates. Uh, there are a variety of ways to alter the animation's rates of similarly, similarly animated elements. So far, this has been achieved by applying an animation iteration count, which we did in the last lessons, um, by setting keyframe rules. To illustrate, the animation on the right consists of two stars that each decrease in size and opacity at the 20% mark in the keyframes rule which creates twinkle animations. See? Twinkly. Uh, you can change keyframes rule for one of the elements so the star twinkles at different rates. Uh, alter the animation rate for the element with the class name star1 by changing its keyframes rule to 50%. Okay, so star1 has a uh, keyframes rate. If we look down here, we see twinkle1 is its animation name. So we can come down here, we see uh, twinkle1 is uh, at 20% it transforms at a scale of 0.5. Um, so we want to set the uh, keyframe rule for star 1 class should be 50%. Um, so right now it's set at 20%. Um, we notice that these uh, twinkle 1 and twinkle 2 both have 20%, 20%, scale of 5, and 5. So they're exactly the same. So what we're trying to do is offset the twinkle so to make it so that this one's 50%. We see, uh, let's see, Twinkle1 has the animation name of Twinkle1, so there's star1. From the margin from the top is 15%, and star2 has a margin from the top for 25%. Uh, the margin left is 25% and 60%. So this is star1, and this is star2 from what I'm seeing. And so if we change this to 50%, we'll see that they're going to start changing. So they're going to twinkle at different rates. If we run the tests, we should see they pass. Okay, so... Let's see, how can we look at this a little bit differently? Um, okay, so the HTML down here has um, the ID of back. Um, the back is here. The ID is this bit, back, and back is here. And so this is position fixed. It's got zero margin, top left at zero, 100% width, 100% length. And then we have a background of a linear gradient, meaning it goes from this color and it, and it grades from black, which is up here, to this color, which is, I'm guessing, this dark blue. And this color, which is light light blue, this color, which is probably, I don't know, maybe something in here. And then all the way down, oh, this color is probably this pink color right here. And then this color is this bottom color right here. I'm just guessing, but that's what the background, so that's what back is. And so this is the back div, and that's just, is set to encompass this entire um, background. And then also, then we have star one and star two, and then they're both elements of stars. So the stars is this one. They, both of these share the exact same thing, meaning that their color is white. Now, if we made this, their color red, they'd be twinkling red. So we'll keep it at white for now because it looks better. Um, the red's a bit dark. And then the height and width, that just means that they're 30 by 30. Say we made this one 100, it'd make them oblong shaped, right? And then, meaning they were shaped with, uh, uh, they were ovals, they were eggs as if they were standing up, whereas if we made this one 190, we would see that they'd be really fat. So what 30 does is it just makes it so that there are circles that twinkle. Their border radius is 50. What does that mean? That means that it's a circle rather than a square. If we set it to 100%. Oh, no. Okay, so the border radius, I'm not sure exactly what the border radius does. That's interesting. Hmm. Um, and then so the anim animation count is infinite. Say we made this uh, one second. We would say that they would pop, and then they would disappear. So we want to leave that in infinite, obviously. And so then now we have different elements for star one and star two. So you see they both same the same share the same star class, meaning that they have the period, and then it period uh, aligns with class because in your classes you have multiple periods. And then so then when we look at the Margin from the top, we have 15% and 25%, which tells us this is star 1. And so if we change this to 55%, this star will probably be lower. Oh, interesting. They both change. Uh, and then if we were to change this from 60% to 90%, it would shift to the left. Interesting. So the margin is more related to, the margin is more independent when they're vertical like this. Um, same thing with here. If we change this one to 80%, we would see that it would jump down. And my guess is that if we changed uh, the star left from 25 to 85, we would see it jump to the left. You see what I'm saying? So that's the difference between this. If we did 15, it would probably jump over here. Um, the animation name is Twinkle2, and that's where we come into these twinkle parts, 
So when we change this from 20, where they were at the same time, we change it to 50, which means that they alter at different times. And that's, uh, I think, the lesson that they're trying to teach you here. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just trying to go through the entire code and provide examples to make it more clear to exactly what's happening. I hope you guys found this useful, and we'll see you in the next lesson.